Hello Shape, I hope you're doing well today. In today's video, I want to share with you two questions that identify if you're broke in mindset or not. So yeah, before I actually want to go right into those two questions, I want to ask you, what is being broke? In what is being broken mindset? In fact, there are even CEOs who are broke. Why? Because there's actually one thing which happened after that, like seven years when you have started a company, it calls a split up. When you go away from an original idea, everything is just going down, and you are not more in the abundant mindset, but you go back to the broken mindset back to the roots which are not the good roots but the roots of evil which you can define it's not the money it's uh, your broken mindset which are actually the roots of evil and i see so many people in the streets who have the broken mindset who are just really living to pay their bills i human being made for paying the bills or is money made for humans no, money is made for humans, not humans for money. But if you go and just live for paying your bills, then you are living for money. Money has control over you, not you over money. Money has control over you, not you over money. Does it make sense, by the way? In broken mindset, you can actually find out the one thing is to having an victim mindset what is a victim mindset here's a video above you can check this out i actually explained it how to define a victimized mindset but the broken mindset is a little bit different it's with these two questions you can actually identify this really easily so let's jump into the first question the qu first question is what do you want from your what do you don't want from your life what do you don't want from your life simple as hell ask it your friend ask it your mother ask it everyone i'm more than sure that 90 percent of you guys will more than 90 percent of you guys will come up with thousands of reasons or thousands of things that you don't want to have in your life. Just in seconds. In seconds. Why? Because our brain is twice as receptive towards pain rather than towards pleasure. Mm. And if you go the natural way, you will you will go just you just see the reasons. You just see the problems. See the see problems. The problems. So the second question what I want to ask you is what do you want from your life? What do you want from your life? And I'm again more than sure that 90% more than 90% will do this one. In fact, I did it too. I did it too. I'm guilty. I did it too. Yeah. I did it too. First of all when someone asked me. But I actually come up with the next five seconds, so I was safe. So if you came up with the five seconds, with at least three reasons, what do you want to have from your life? Then you are not really broke, but when not, you are more problem focused, not solution focused, my friend. You are more problem focused, not solution focused, my friend. And this is just the evidence you have signed that you are broke. Sorry to tell you that. And if you ask myself like two years ago the same question, I'm more than sure I would take like 10 minutes to, oh man, uh, what do you want from my life? Oh, um, maybe I want to stay in Japan and go back to Japan. Uh, yeah. And this is all, maybe the first reason which came up from myself. However, this is not really the thing 
And you can actually ask everyone these two questions. And I'm more than sure that on the first question, people come up with the fifth reason. And when you get just the fifth reason, you just stop it. Stop them, interrupt them and say, okay, hey, what do you want from your life? And when it comes to this, more than five, count down five seconds. If it's more than five seconds, evidence broke. Why? Ask me why. Again, there are more uh, for problem oriented, not solution oriented. A bound of people are solution oriented. They see the future as a new opportunity. They see every single minute as a new opportunity. They look the life and not exist. People who are broke, they just exist. They do not live. Do you live or do you exist? If you really want to live, if you really want to overcome this stuff and because you are actually taking more than five seconds to answer this simple question pleasure question what is pleasure in your life this is actually the evidence you're just procrastinate on your own life this is actually the evidence you're just procrastinate on your own life <laughs> And I did myself a two in the past. In fact, until I have approached my coach. And my coach has told me, dude, do you know what you just do? You just procrastinate on your own life. You don't live in your own life. You're living the life of someone else. In fact, if you are going for a nine to five, Every time you, nine to five, you are doing your 9-to-5 job, you are procrastinating on your life. Okay, you might love it, okay, I can totally resonate, I can totally understand it, you, life, you love your job, but it's a moment when you start to hate it, you just procrastinate on it. And you are not living your dreams, but the dreams of your boss. You don't live your own life, you live the life of someone, not your own. You don't have the full responsibility of your own life. And if you want to have the responsibility of your own life, if you want to have someone like myself, my coach was my torch, which actually has made me go of my own cave of madness, who helped me to show me the way every single step. This is actually where the miracle happens. If you want to make the miracle come true because I'm here to actually help you to reshape your own relationship with your procrastination saving time money and help other people doing so this is actually an opportunity for you I will check the link down below because I do offer online discovery coaching session one session for free and this is opportunity you don't want to miss you check this link down below you click it and then you can schedule a call with me if you don't confirm with times this is where you can actually pm myself and we can arrange another time nothing is impossible this is just about the matter of negotiation So Shepa, I hope you have an awesome day and tell me down below what's the number one thing you have picked up so far. Give me a like if you had some value from this video, share it with your friends because sharing is caring. Also, I do upload every single day, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, Shepa, I hope you have an awesome day and do not let yourself influence your passion now.